This is the Emotive Epoch headset, a consumer priced 14 electrode EEG headset that connects wirelessly to your computer. This is EmoLens, a softer program that lets you control Flickr with your mind and your thoughts using the Emotive Epoch headset. At the heart of EmoLens is the Cool Iris Wall, a sophisticated web component for displaying Flickr photos and other digital media. I've trained the Epoch to detect two of my thought patterns, which I use to control various operations in emo lens, and these two meters will show you the intensity of each thought pattern as they are detected. To begin my Flickr photo browsing experience, I will shake my head no to bring up the search menu so I can select a topic. Thanks to the gyro and the headset, I can turn my head to the right to select the Explore Tags button, and by blinking my eyes rapidly, confirm my choice and trigger the operation. This is the Tag Cloud Viewer, a rotating ball of Flickr tags that I use to select the topic for my browsing session. I'm using one of my thought patterns to rotate the ball to the right so I can see what topics are available. Stars is highlighted and now actor, but I think I'm going to pick one of the leading categories of photos on Flickr and choose cats. A little push to bring cats to the center until it's highlighted, and a few quick blinks and it's selected. In just a moment, the cool iris wall will be filled with pictures of cats. But today I want to look at kittens, so I'm going to bring up the search menu again. This time I'm going to pick Refine Tags, which will ask Flickr for a list of popular tags that are related to the topic of cats. Kittens is at the top of the ball, so I'm going to rotate it upwards using the second thought pattern until it's centered and highlighted. Tags that are related to one another share the same color and form tag clusters. A few quick blinks. And the cool iris wall is filled with pictures of cute little kittens. I can scroll the wall by using the same two thought patterns I used with the tag cloud viewer. First to the right, and now over to the left. I blink my eyes a few times and now I'll enter photo selected mode. In this mode I can see the photo's full size and I can scroll to the next and the previous photo using the same two thought patterns. But the real fun begins when I blink my eyes again and I enter slideshow mode. In this mode, the photo will change every few seconds like in any slideshow, but with one very crucial difference. Over here are the emo meters, a set of meters that detect the four primary emotions of happy, sad, anger, and fear. Watch what happens when I come across a photo of two cats hugging each other, which I find funny. The epoch detects my happiness and the slideshow is automatically paused. This tags the photo with that emotion and a record is written to a local database. The slideshow will not advance until my emotional activity subsides. This allows me to fully enjoy photos I find interesting and to skip past those that are not in a fully automated manner that's tuned to my emotions. A little while later, I came across a photo that at first made me smile. It looked like a little kitten that I used to play with at a friend's house. But when I remembered that it had to be put down later due to brain damage, I became very sad. Now I'll show you how I search for photos using a motion. I'll bring up the search menu. I'm trying to find a funny photo that I can only vaguely recall. As I remember how it made me smile, that triggers an emotion search. The Flickr tags that belong to all the photos that made me smile in previous browsing sessions are displayed. Ah, that's right, it was a photo about cats. I'll just bring cats to the center until it's highlighted, and then a few quick blinks, and the wall fills with cat photos that made me happy in the past, but I'm looking for a specific cat photo, so I'm going to refine my search. That's right, it was a kitten's photo. I'll select that related tag now. The wall fills with all the photos of kittens that made me laugh, and over here you can see the photo of the orange kittens hugging that was recently tagged. Now I'll go looking for that sad kitten photo I showed you before. This time, I'll think about my little friend's gray kitten from long ago and how it made me sad. A search for sad photos is triggered and in a moment the tag cloud viewer fills with all the tags from all the photos in the past that made me sad. Once again, I'm looking for cats so I'm going to bring that to the center and highlight it and then a few quick blinks. Thanks to the Epoch headset, you can now search for things in a way that you never could before and in a way that is much more natural for human beings. You can start your search with an emotion and let the computer become a digital extension of not only your memories, but your feelings. And in closing, here's the photo I was looking for of my friend's little gray kitten. 
For more information on anything you saw in this video, please visit AndroidReview.com.